Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel. In this tutorial, as per request, I'm going to explain how you can define, customize attribute in user profile. As you know that in previous version of the Keycloak, the attribute was available in this user profile, but in new version, uh, it's a little bit more mature and you can define as per your desire. If you're interested in this topic, please stay with me. Let's get started. Uh, first, you need to log into your server, but before you have to make sure your server is up and running. Then you would need to come to the, the realm setting part. And after that, you need to come to user profile. If you not defined any other attribute definitely you will see all these parameters as a default parameters so by default keycloak has been defined this attribute so now i want to define the new attribute uh, for my user part then let's create attribute and then go together here is the, the name which you need to uh, provide for your attribute. And definitely this is the name which is needed in the, uh, for configuration and API and so on. So I'm going to name that just only address and then this is the display name how it's going to be shown in the user profile so i'm going with the capital a and showing it this way then coming to multi value what is that if you are defining some attribute which is uh, probably needed several uh items like address maybe one person have the several address and you don't want just only unique value to be there only your one for example value for the one address or maybe needed several values then you can click on that one to activate the multi-value like this I have the, the address but I want this user have the several address in that case I can activate this one if you don't want then just off then here it's about the user group attribute what is that uh, you can select as a non when you select as a non then it will not part of the one group but if you make it as a one group then it will give you this possibility to uh, define for when whenever you want to define the role or uh, you want to uh, define for one as a hierarchy to, to, to one specific group, then this part, this attribute also will involve. Here you can see by default is user metadata, but it's not, uh, only the user metadata you can define your attribute group here as well come back to the user profile and then come to the attribute group you can see here you can define by default is user metadata but actually you can define your own uh, attribute group as well here so if you need then you can define it when you define this create Mm, let just only like a test and when we come back to create the user as a address and then here you can see now the test as a new attribute group is showing here so if you want to be part of that, you need 
to and select that one if you don't want just keep it as a none then do you want to enable uh, as a this is as a the always or scopes or request this this scope uh, you need to define the scope of the 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 scope when you select the scope it means that this attribute is related to this scope and when this scope is met then it will be available so i'm keeping as a always means it's always enabled and it's if you want to uh to be required as a one field to be mandatory you can select as a on but if you don't want to keep it as a mandatory, you can keep it as a off. But as you can observe, when you are keep it as a on, and then it will be mandatory, then uh, it will ask you, okay, for both user and admin, is it mandatory or only for user or only for admin? So this is only for by default it both user and admin i'm keeping as a uh, both and also set the again it's uh, asking required always means is always but if you select the scope it means related to that specific scope uh, this is the permission you can select the user and admin who can edit who can view this just only the permission of that is again based on your idea it can be configured and here we have the validation rule uh, when you can see the validation rule you can select uh, in different formats whether it's double email integer integer length and so on for instance, if you select the double, then you have to define the minimum or the maximum value of the double. Or if it's an email, what is the maximum of that is integer same. Uh, for a local date, it just keep it as a date. And uh, uh, multi-valued, which we discussed, if there are some uh, for example, different uh, addresses. So in that case, you can select the multi, multi, multi value and define the maximum and uh, minimum size. Uh, here, there are some other items like a person name, prohibited, and so on. But when you select these items, it will not give you any possibility to define the, the, the attribute or the values just give you a uh, error message key because these are by default uh, is defined in the key club so just allow you to define the error message when it's reached to that for example uh, restriction then which error message need to be shown so this is the error message which you can just define it uh, there is no possibility to define the value for those items yeah you can see like uh, prohibited characters and and so on and this is uh, for uri if you have such uh, attribute for uri you can select the uri and then it will be uh, uh, it will be followed your uh, validation suppose that uh, i am selecting the for example the the integer uh, let's select to 0 to 128 oh sorry i selected the so let me i am selecting only lengths okay uh one one more item regarding this trimming uh display this disable by default is off and if you uh turn it on 
then this item will not check the space before and after but if you keep it off it will check any space in before and after and if there is a space in for example your text or whatever then it will not consider as a uh, for example the, the that value so this is the only case which you need to consider and also annotation because suppose you define the length and and so on but you need also tell to the key collect what what is the input type of that and then i am saying that okay uh input type i'm asking as a text this is what i defined but also you have some other options to define the number format and and so on input size uh and yeah th there are some some options to to define it and also you can define the several uh the the input if, if you need it okay then let uh yeah we are good to go we are creating and here we have the address then i'm going to my user part and then if i am coming here i am seeing that the address now became as a mandatory part of that and i can put whatever it's uh, needed yep that user already saved and this is the attribute for the user but this is not only the, the case, you can add your desire and the customized attribute. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed from this tutorial, please don't forget to like the button. And then if you didn't subscribe the channel, please sub do subscribe. If you have any question, please do not hesitate. Drop your question in the comments. And definitely during the week, I will check and get back to you. Thank you again and see you in next one.